Hi, this is Steve Proud again, and today I'm going to do a video which is an add-on to this video right here. I haven't figured out how to uh, swap out a video, so instead of adding it to the end of the video, I'm just going to add it another video to the YouTube channel. So I have this video right here, CDPX Tag Linking. It's one in a series of three, and it's regarding the latest version of Codasys, version 3.5, Service Pack 7, um, and this video shows you how to link CDPX tags to the PLC, and it's all within an embedded environment of Codasys. Okay, now if you go to the project here, this is the display that was added, and the tags basically are added and, and linked through here. So when you click on the Start Design Studio, it starts up Design Studio. And it goes to your project that you created. And then you come in here, you can copy, paste, add things, save all, close it. Yes, save the project. So now, again, if I go back to it, it'll be saved, reopened, and come into here, and I've got the button here. So what I'm trying to show you right now is that uh, the intuitive thing to do if you want to do a, a rev of this project or something along that line is to come up to the file and do a save project as. Well, the save project as will do the Codasys project, but by doing this, you break the link to the Design Studio project. So I'm going to show you the fact that it does get broken. Um, and I'm just going to pick a random location. Uh, folder blah 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 okay so I'm saving the project to there I'll rename it to whatever go to this save it okay so now I've saved it so I'm thinking okay well I'm gonna continue now with that version I'll go to startup design studio and immediately it's gonna say hey what project do you want to link to this? I need to create a whole new thing here. So I'm going to hit cancel and just, uh, so I've lost the link and I'm going to close this here. So you'll see here in the directory structure that this is the original directory and, and project environment has quite a few things, has the codices and the design studio projects within it. Um, this one here has nothing. So that is not the way you save as a project. So the proper way of doing thing is to let's delete this, is to simply take this sample project here, copy it, and I'm just going to paste it. And we'll call this blah, blah. Now, when I go into that directory, so I'm in the directory now, my project and everything is still intact. I basically, go in here, open up this project right here. <clears throat> Lightning fast opening. Go into here, and lo and behold, we are still linked. So that is the proper way to do a save as. It's to simply copy the root directory of the project you originally started with, and you can paste it into a whole new directory. You know, like so. Take the whole directory and everything within this directory right from the, the top down. Okay. Thanks and have a nice day.